Hi, I'm Eddie from Revolt Systems. I'm here with Will Buckwalter, and he's been helping us design some things here in house, and also this beautiful contactor high voltage distribution box that we have sitting in front of me. So this is made out of billet 6000 series aluminum. Like every one of our products, we love billet here. We love the ro robust um, functionality of billet and the fact that it does dissipate heat. This is a fully watertight enclosure for basically everything that you'll need in your contactor box. That goes from pre-charge to contactors to accessories, everything you'll need. And we also built in a bunch of strain relief in this thing to make it as, as, as installable as possible in the places that people's feet may get into as well. Like for my car, this is underneath the dash. Oh, people like to kick it and uh, you know, bad things may happen. So Will, why don't we talk about what's inside this box? Cool. Well, let's talk about, you. like you said, this thing is weatherproof. We have two sets of two watt connectors right here, 90 degreeing into our strength relief. These are rated at 350 amps continuous, a thousand volts. So they're gonna handle a lot of high demand EV output that most of the bills that would use us are gonna demand. And we could, we could burst this uh, box. I think it's 10 seconds for 2000 amps. 2000 2, amps. So if you, if you guys are drag racing, doing anything heavy like that, this box will be able to handle those demands for you. Absolutely. We also have our charge, DC, DC, and our accessory force over here. So those are all fused to uh, 15 amps for the accessories and 25 amps for the chargers, 10 amps for the DC, DC output. So speaking of fusing on the inside, yep. this, uh, our high voltage traction pack is a 500 volt, 600 amp continuous rated fuse. And then as, all, as I just labeled out all of those accessories and chargers, those are internally fused as well. And you can lay those out anytime, any way you want. So for those of you that have built these boxes before in the past, I mean, this is, you know, 100 to 150 hours worth of, of, of just time that goes into this just to build it. And that's if you know what you're doing. If you have to research what contactors to use, what pre-charge relays, what fuses, that time could go even further up. So Absolutely. if you value that, uh, this is a very quick and easy product for you guys to install in your vehicles. It's going to take probably one third of the equation out of building an EV. And as I said, it's very universal. It'll work with basically anyone's platform. You don't have to use our PDUs or our systems. You can use anyone's because all the inputs on this are analog. Yes. We do have CAN bus as well for the current sensor. What kind of current system? We have an IVTS. This one right here is what we have in standard in our boxes. It's a thousand amp rated. It has the same platform for a 2,500 amp as well. Um, and then there also is a 500 amp version of that. But uh, like Eddie said, all the research has been done. We are using the coolest running contactors and mini tactors and the pretty much the highest accuracy CAN bus current sensors that we can find as well. So yep. everything has been really well thought out and put into this. And so pre-charge relays, accessory relays, uh, full main contractor relays, uh, basically everything you're gonna need to manage your high voltages are in this box. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this little clip about our junction box, also known as a contactor box, PDU, all kinds of terms. If you have any questions about it, leave the comments down below, or you can email us at info at or check out our website at www.reboltsystems.com.